Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. Now, I have returned back to Praven unsuccessful in attempting to find the rest of the various lords and things. I was actually taking a look at this guy because he's actually inside the garrison at Praven and I wondered who he was. But anyway, uh, this is also a companion that I looked at. Let me just go home real quick because what I would like to show you is exactly what is going on here. So, as you no doubt know, the Southern Empire has very few clans remaining, as you can see. We have this woman right here, who is the leader of her clan. And then we have, of course, Pelasaur, who is the member of this clan. I don't know whether that really makes any difference. I suppose it probably does, but I'm not entirely sure if it's a different guy called Pelasaur, whether he's a clone of our guy, or I, I don't really know what's going on with that. Then these two clans right here, we know what happened with those guys. They are basically stuck out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, I, I can't do anything about them. I have tried everything. <laughs> I have tried everything to try and get them out of there, but they don't seem to want to do that. I think it's, it, I think it's probably a problem with me having a very old game save, because, of course, this save that we have right here is from the very beginning of the game's development and its release into early access. And that's probably the reason why we're having lords that get stuck and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, these two right here, these both have one vassal in and they both cause me to crash whenever I try to execute either one of them. So the only one that I could eliminate is this one and I couldn't find where she is. So I decided, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some stuff, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, um, the Southern Empire made peace yeah, made peace with Vlandia, which is not exactly great. But, yeah, so I decided I'm going to take some stuff, right? Because I thought, hmm, maybe that's going to bring some vassals out. And I actually attempted to take the town and the castle nearby to these two guys that were basically just standing right here on this cliff edge. And I thought, okay, maybe if I take the castle, you know, maybe there's some weird pathing issue with the castle itself. No, that actually is not the case. I don't know why they are stuck there. As I say, it's probably a, it's probably an issue with my save game itself. Then I actually thought the same thing over here. I thought, hey, why don't I take this and then uh, maybe take the castle nearby? Maybe that will force some of the vassals out of hiding. It did not. It did not. So that that's basically it. That is literally what I have done in my off-screen time. I have tried my best to try and rectify the situation. But, um, well, there's also something else that I wanted to show you. These are the current fiefs that we have available to us in terms of Vlandia itself. And you can no doubt tell a bit of a problem here. Do you, do you see the problem? Do you see the issue? I think you can probably see the issue. Death Art is basically taking every single thing for himself, no matter what I do. So in other words, I can vote for myself, I can vote for him, I can abstain from voting at all, and he will continue to give fiefs to himself. And personally, I don't really like that, because as you can see, he's got a bunch of mercenaries in his army, uh, he's got some other guys that are, yeah, part of mercenary clans. He does have Morcon, who I believe is actually part of his clan. Um, but I can't really tell that at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, it is, actually. Yeah, that is actually him. So if I click on him right now, you can see that this these are the people that are actually a part of... I have, I have 91 relation with him, literally just because I have been supporting his decision to give all the fiefs to himself with the exception of a few, of course, because I wanted to try and test things out a little bit, and it hasn't really worked out in my favor. But anyway, you can see exactly what's going on here. So Morcon and... Wait a minute. Did he name two of his children Morcon? They're both called Morcon. That is hilarious in itself, isn't it? So this guy's the governor of Sargot, and this guy is a vassal just running around doing whatever. So we will have to fight those when we leave the kingdom and keep all of our holdings. Oh yes. 
There we go. Our relation has decreased with all of these people, and we will now be attacking Vlandia itself. Because, let's face it, if I can't attack the Southern Empire and I can't get them in a situation where we can potentially win the game, then this is the only way we can do it. Especially considering, and this is a very, very important thing, especially considering the fact that I have attempted very, very much to get Death Art to give me some fiefs. And he decided completely against that. Absolutely in every single case, he was like, no, I will not give you anything, and I am fed up. And Barney is fed up, and he very much wants to have some fun with their heads. And that is exactly what is going to happen. So hopefully what we'll be able to do is enter here relatively quickly, and, um, well, we are going to have a lot of problems with our... Uh, various uh, various villages being attacked. What I find super amusing as well, by the way, is that the Southern Empire was not being attacked at all. By the way, why am I having so many deserters? Is it because I literally have Vlandians primarily? <laughs> that would probably be an absolutely hilarious, hilarious thing to turn around and have us um, basically lose half our army just due to them not wanting to fight Vlandians, which would probably be the case. Let's face it. But I do have a lot of Imperial trained archers that can potentially join us as well. I'm actually over my troop limit? What? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm not a vassal anymore or something, is, does that mean I lose some... Oh, yeah, that's the reason why they're defecting right now. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to leave here, and we're going to attack this guy if we can actually catch up to him. Yes, I can catch up to him. He is... He is much slower than I am. Oh, no, he's actually not slower than I am. Oh, hello. There's there's Death Art. Yes, there's Death Art. He actually wants to say hi to us now. It's amazing how he appears out of nowhere when I actually want him to. But now, you know, beforehand, he was like, no, no, no. I'm not going to help you at all. That's exactly what he was doing. So anyway, I'm just going to place uh, basically all my Vlandians in the garrison here. Uh, I don't think the Vlandians are actually defecting, so I'm going to keep some, but I will I will give a couple over to the garrison just to make sure that we don't end up losing a huge amount. But uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing going forward. We are literally going to have him probably... Is he going to try and attack this? It would be very interesting if he tries to attack this because he's running around with an army of 510. I would not be surprised if he decides to start starving and that's exactly what we want him to do we very badly want him to you know start having some issues with his uh, supplies and so on but uh, yeah that's what we're going to do going forward I really have had enough I've had enough of him basically doing nothing and getting everything he has literally been completely useless in many respects so let me see if I can catch this guy now. He's moving at 4.6. I'm moving at 4.9, 3.5, 3.7. Okay, so I can definitely catch this guy. And we will be executing absolutely everyone that we can. Of course, that is exactly what we will end up doing. And uh, that's the thing. These guys are mercenaries. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm the leader of my own faction, I should definitely go into the kingdom management screen because that's something that I haven't ever looked at. And uh, we'll see... How it is but now we are blue look at this now we're blue because obviously vlandia is red and it wouldn't make sense for us to be red anymore so we are now blue classic red versus blue where's griff yeah exactly anyway that's a that's a very old reference isn't it anyway so let's go over here and we'll see uh, well i mean i think it's gonna be a pretty easy victory for us but i gotta be a bit careful of their spear usage wow Wow, that's... Yeah, yeah, I've got to be careful of their spear usage. I said that. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's just tell my infantry just to charge straight on in here. Because our uh, cavalry is going to need some assistance, no doubt. And, um, well, hopefully we'll do all right. Uh, let's tell my archers to charge as well, just to get them into effective range as soon as possible, because I really do not want to die in this situation. And hopefully we're going to do all right. 
Yes, take out that Vlandian knight. Uh, it, it, I mean, it is about time, isn't it? It is about time that we actually start fighting for ourselves instead of fighting for an, inc uh, an incredibly ungrateful ruler. I mean, I think we can all agree that he was extremely ungrateful about things. And not even the fact that usually I don't mind if the liege wants to give fiefs to other people. Because I think that that's absolutely fair, you know, I think that's absolutely fine, very good for him to do that because everyone's going to gain a good amount of strength from all of that. But when you give those fiefs that someone, and I'm not talking about, you know, myself or whatever, but someone is literally going out of their way to grab all of these fiefs and try and capture them and then you give them all to yourself, I think that's wrong, you know? I think that's wrong. I think you should try and be a little bit fairer there, Dirthart. Uh, unfortunately, he is not. So that's the reason why I've decided to go for a rebellion. The rebellion of the bear tilled. And uh, that's, that's exactly what's happening here. All right. So, yes, you will be taken prisoner. I'm very much hoping that the Southern Empire will declare war against the... Uh, Vlandians, because let's face it, they're probably not going to do that, right? They're probably not going to do that because that's just my luck, isn't it? It's probably my luck to be like, oh yes, let me, let me defect now. And then all of a sudden, boom, they are no longer, you know, just at war against me or anything like that. They're at war against everyone. So mm, that would be pretty bad. Okay, let's take all of this stuff. Uh, we'll sort by value a little bit just to see if there's anything. Ooh, this is actually a better shield for me. Very nice indeed. All right, so I'll, I'll take that. Is there anything else that I really want to take? No, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, so as I said before, I did want to take this castle, and that's exactly what we're going to try and do. Um, but I would like to... Oh, I need to be in a kingdom? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so how do I actually do that? Uh, I might need to actually go to my clan screen and it, uh, what can I what, how can I do that that is indeed the issue because I have never done this before as I've said so it's going to be interesting huh uh, you need to be in a kingdom I think that's the thing I don't think I actually have the opportunity to now create my own faction because of the dragon banner that might very well be the case. So let's go to the Lord's Hall real quick, because I might be able to speak to Liena and see what she has to say. Where is she? Uh, is she hiding somewhere? Oh, there she is. Okay. Hello. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> uh, Okay, I have no idea how to create my own faction. That's great. I, I think I probably need to have the dragon banner, but I saw no other way ab around this. All right, so we have a bit of a situation on our hands. I just took the castle. As you can see, this guy actually mentions it. And uh, we are going to be fighting him. He's actually aggressive towards us right now. And Death Art is actually attempting to take... Craven from us. Now, I could theoretically break in there. In other words, I could break through the enemy's lines and, well, take a whole bunch of casualties. Because unfortunately, the way that the mechanics work, that would result in uh, not exactly what I would want to do. Basically, it would halve our army and um, I'd be left with 90 or so units from 160 and uh, I don't really want to do that if at all possible uh, so what I'm doing is I'm running interference in between the uh, vassals that he has and uh, well va not vassals really but mercenaries and him and hopefully trying to prevent any kind of reinforcement from any of his friendly uh, friendly people and if we can do that then hopefully he will think twice about actually doing something with this and instead he will just basically leave and I'm hopeful that that is what is going to happen but if it doesn't then we might have some issues on our hands and I'm not entirely sure if I can then go in because what I have experienced in the past 
and this is in my tests or on my uh, private save game and this is on uh, you know previously in this series as well is that when you're doing a siege and you go in and you sacrifice a whole bunch of people there is a chance pretty high chance actually for the opponent to just abandon the siege at that point and at that particular area of interest for me is the fact that when you've done that and I'm talking about when you've sacrificed I don't even know 70 units or something and then the enemy decides to leave the particular siege that means that you've literally just thrown away 70 units for nothing personally I feel like this mechanic is not very good I would recommend a little bit of a a little bit of a change on it uh, personally I know that there has to be some kind of um, should we say penalty for entering a garrison after the siege has already begun but personally I don't think the developers should uh, I, I shouldn't really say should because it's, it's their game it's up to them what they want to do but I, I personally feel like it would probably be very very difficult to stay in a particular garrison for any amount of time to ensure that that particular castle or town does not get taken. So hopefully if I've explained that correctly, you will now know what I mean. In other words, if I'm going to go in there and I'm going to spend a huge amount of units to be able to get into the garrison, I want to be 100% sure or at least very sure that the enemy will continue with their attack. Because let's just say that I, I do go in there and let's say I do spend 70 or so units right so let's say I do that then the guy decides to stop the siege and that's it I've, I've just lost 70 units for nothing I, I don't I personally don't think that that should happen I feel like in general if there is any kind of siege attempt going on and they have may maybe not gone in yet like, I'm, I'm going to say that, personally, I feel like it should be revamped in a very small way. And the revamp should literally just include this one change. Before the enemy goes in, you should be able to enter the castle as freely as you like. As long as you enter from the front, as long as you enter from the gate, you know, as it is. And then, if the siege begins, and I'm talking about when they're actually starting to attack, when they're actually going in with their own troops and everything, at that point, I think there should be a cost for going in and defending it from the walls. Because I personally don't think that the AI should be allowed to basically just do whatever they want, uh, basically manipulate the player into losing a huge amount of units and then retreating. I don't think that they should be able to do that. So yeah, maybe that's just me, but I think it would make it a lot fairer for the player and for the AI as well. Well, maybe not for the AI, but it's a single player experience. I don't really expect the AI to really have a completely fair ride, especially considering they have uh, kind of messed up my plans for the entirety of my uh, executing basically because now I can't execute and win the game because those two vassals are stuck on that cliffside so my new goal which is something that I probably should have mentioned when I actually defected from Blandia but anyway my new goal is to destroy the entirety of Landia because of course I will be able in the end I will be able to take over the entirety of Calradia because there are just no vassals around to actually prevent me from doing that. So I can do it. It's just going to take me a very, very, very long time because even, you know, um, building some onagers, building some trebuchets, all that stuff, that takes about 10 days to get all that stuff done. And if you think about how long a month is, that's usually about 30 days. I mean, obviously, in the game, you know, it's based on real real life. But 
yeah anyway so you you think about that you know it's 30 days one month for three fiefs and you got to do that for every castle every town and it just doesn't seem very uh it doesn't seem doable for a, a short period of time in comparison to executing every single lord i would have probably been able to do that because let's face it i found them you know that's the point i found most of the lords but it, they were just inaccessible to my well to my plans which is kind of disappointing really because i personally feel like i would have been able to complete my operation execution plan and I would have been able to completely eliminate the Southern Empire and convert all of their fiefs over to Vlandia's control. I think I would have been able to do that. That would have been the best ever. That would have been some really, really cool stuff. But obviously due to bugs, due to early access and so on, we are now no longer able to do that, which is actually kind of disappointing to me, really, because I actually really wanted to see whether executing the entirety of the Lords would make a difference. I think it would. I have heard a bunch of reports about that, reported by other people, where it is actually possible for you to do that. And I'm going to get poked to death right here, unless I'm careful. There we go. But yeah, so it is actually possible for you to do it. And I would have loved to have shown it on screen. I, I think it would have been absolutely amazing. And I've been fighting tooth and nail against the Southern Empire for such a long period of time that I really wanted a nice payoff. You know, I really, really wanted that satisfying feeling of basically executing the last Lord that is available. And then all of a sudden, all of the colors of all the thieves change from red to green. That would have been a, a very, very satisfying end. But unfortunately, death art, crashes, and bugs have kind of prevented that from happening, unfortunately. But we have had an absolutely fantastic time, and my new goal, as I've said, is to eliminate Vlandia. So that is what we will be aiming for now. And here is Allery. Allery is actually death art's son i believe and he's not going to be too pleased that i have captured him let's just say that he's not going to be pleased one bit so let me see if i can just recruit a couple more people here and there we go am i over yes i am over the amount of units that i can take okay do we have any recruits yeah i've got a couple of recruits so i guess i can let those go and I guess I can let the footman go. I need to look for rank twos most of the time here. Imperial archers. Okay, I have enough now. I can actually take those imperial archers. Oh, they're, they're, they're militia? Why do I have militia? In, oh, oh, that's not, that's not particularly good. Yes, I should not have had those guys. Oh yeah, I did not execute this guy yet either. So let's execute him. And we'll execute him. There we go. Execution seems to be working quite nicely now. And I'm throwing caution to the wind here because it could very well crash me at any point. But I just wanted to be uh, a bit more careful about making sure that they don't escape. Because that would be kind of bad, you know. You just got to let those guys go. Oh no, don't want to let those guys go, that's for sure. I'm still over the troop limit. It's because I keep recruiting people from my prisoners. Not a good idea. Okay, so let's get all these pieces of... Uh, food and everything and we'll get the cows and the hogs now as well because we are probably going to need that at some point and we've got some reinforced mittens right here now technically what i could do is i could turn all of my companions into parties and i think i probably will try to do that but i have seen in the past that they are pretty useless um yeah i'm not i'm not entirely sure why that would be but they seem to be pretty useless so i'm not entirely sure if we can make that happen but uh well uh, as you can see they are using catapults to try and weaken the walls but they have not gone in yet which is good i suppose but anyway let's just level up a couple of my people here and i will probably try to make a couple of parties um maybe once this situation is dealt with because i don't really want to be in a place where my party can literally just get picked off by Dirthart's army almost immediately. 
that would not be too good. But I can only imagine what it must be like if you play Bannerlord up to this point, because I'm literally over a thousand days played at this point. And uh, I wonder what it would be like if you hadn't executed every single Lord that you met. I wonder what that would have been like. That would have been pretty fun, I think. But on the other hand, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, with the exception of Death Art being, well, you know, greedy as no one's business, really. I mean, he did do so... He's so greedy, isn't he? It's such a shame. Anyway, this is currently what happens to siege equipment that is built. You can see that right here. We've got four catapults on the walls. And, of course, he is just building one catapult at a time. Uh, well, one onager at a time, shall we say. And that is making things extremely simple for us. Because, let's face it, you get one onager up, and then the rest of the defensive siege equipment is going to murder you. So, it's going to take him forever. And I'm, I'm probably thinking pretty much forever to be able to get the walls down. Because he literally gets off, like, what, two, two attacks or something? Oh, he's actually gone in. He has actually gone in. I am very surprised about this. Okay, we're going to go in then. All right, so I'm going to have to break in. And as you can see, I'm going to lose 71 troops. Now, let's see exactly what happens here. So we're going to go ahead with that, and then we are going to go and help. Okay, and then we're going to go and fight. Okay, so yeah, he can't leave at this point. But he can leave before that. So me losing 71 troops, that's not a big deal because I will be able to get those troops back from hopefully their rescued prisoners. Hopefully I will be able to uh, do something about that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to auto-deploy, I guess. We'll just auto-deploy anything that needs to be auto-deployed. And otherwise we will be ready to eliminate the enemy. This is going to be interesting because we only have militia. Bear that in mind. Also, the enemy does have those... Can I, can I climb this? No, can't climb this. Anyway, the enemy does have siege towers and does have siege ladders and so on. So what I'm going to hopefully try to do is if I can get onto the walls. Why am I taking so long to get onto the walls? Oh, it seems like this is the way. Oh, wow, yeah. Is it? Oh, is it? What is... What is actually going on here? They're just waiting. They're just waiting for something. I don't even know what they're waiting for, but... Alright. Have fun there, then, fellows. Alright. Yeah, so we might very well have a bit of a problem here. Um, but there's a fork, as you can see. So that fork is going to be picked up by me. And I will try uh, to do something with it. I'm going to drop my polearm, I think, for this. Can I, can I do that? Ah. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to get shot. Uh, so it seems like I have to pick it up with my sword. Do I? Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You can't actually pick it up. It is literally just an interactable object in the game world. And what it will do is it will basically just allow you to push the ladder off the wall. That's basically all it will do, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, so I... I would like to pick up these... Oh, you know, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to pick this up. Okay, so swap with War Razor. Yes, I will. Thank you. And then I will pick up some arrows and we'll replace my two-handed axe with those bolts. I mean... Uh, yes, that. There we go. All right, so let's do that. All right, hello there. Um, we do have a bunch of... <laughs> this might be problematic. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. I can't believe that. Oh, no, I did 58 damage to an object. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not particularly good, is it? Okay, let's just fire off into them. It doesn't help that my crossbow skill is literally the, the worst. But uh, I think we should do all right as long as... Wow, okay. Maybe I should just get... Should I just get my two-handed axe out? Nah. I'm going to use my one-handed, I think. Okay, so they're going to do this. So if I use my fork, there we go. I can pick this up, and then I can use it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I can use it, to be honest. 
Do I have to press F to use it or something? As you can see, it doesn't really seem to be working as intended. For some reason. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, this, is, this, this is the reason why you probably want to experience a siege defense before you uh, defect against your previous liege. Because then you'll know exactly how to defend against it. Because <laughs> uh, I don't at the moment. I really don't know how to do that. But I guess the best thing that I can do is literally just hit them as they approach. And then maybe what we can do is use the, uh, use the fork when they are out of reinforcements. That seems to be the best idea. I wish I had my, I wish I had my two-handed axe now. I feel like my two-handed axe would have been super fun to use in this situation. But I guess it's pretty good to have a shield out just in case. Because, I mean, let's face it, the Vlandian sharpshooters are pretty good. We know that they are pretty good. So it would probably be a, a bit of a mistake to not have uh, that available. For some reason, I'm not able to do an overhead. Have you noticed that I'm not able, able to do an overhead for some reason? That is kind of weird. Not entirely sure why that was happening. Oh, that's, that's kind of strange. Oh well, never mind. We seem to be doing absolutely fine though. I would love to be able to push this off. Oh yeah, I'm taking massive damage from their uh, from their crossbowmen now, which is to be expected. There we go, taken down. Ah, uh, and it's also something that you want to think about too, where you're in a situation where oh look at this, I can actually oh are you serious? Did you see that? That was the most terrible shot from a crossbow that I've ever seen and maybe I can okay you know what I'm done <laughs> I am done I am done with the crossbow yes I love it don't get me wrong I love the crossbow but it is certainly a weapon that you don't really want to practice with in this kind of situation surely not so let's see if I can do something here maybe we can kill a bunch this is when I wish I had my two-handed axe. You know what? I'm just going to literally go back here and pick it up. If it's still here, no, it's gone. Of course it has. Oh, well, maybe the crossbow will actually come in handy for us. Kill that guy. Kill him. He is an impudent fool. There we are. What? Did you see that? Huge amounts of kills right there. Someone got huge amounts of kills. It seems like the enemy is actually running away at this point. There you go. Let's try and get a couple of kills with my crossbow while they are running because, well, we want to. There we go. Yes, 12 crossbow proficiency. Yeah, now that's that's also a thing that I personally feel like might want to be looked at a little bit because if you don't choose the right character creation options, you are basically forced into the kinds of weapons that you're going to use. So, for example, uh, I wanted to try and use a crossbow earlier on in this series, but I wasn't able to do so because the only crossbows that I could find required 30 crossbow in skill. Now, of course, I haven't checked every single, um, every single town and things, so it might very well be that you can find a crossbow that you can use without skill, but uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway, most of the enemies are running away. There's an arrow barrel, which I personally feel is a fantastic addition. Did you see that? I just got all of my bolts back. That is so cool. That really is super cool. And that is indeed a victory, isn't it? I think. There's actually two enemies remaining. One enemy remaining. They have lost so many units. And we've literally lost... Well, I lost eight from my own army and that is basically it but bear in mind that I did have to spend quite a significant amount to be able to even enter here which again I think is fair but I don't know whether I feel like the ratio is fair because the ratio at this point basically halved almost halved my army and ah, it's it's kind of harsh for you to lose 71 units, especially at this point in the game. But, of course, you can plan for it. You know, you can plan for it quite nicely. You can basically say, okay, I'm going to defect in X amount of days or whatever. And then you can place a whole bunch of units in the garrison. I do have some, some people in the garrison, actually. But not as many as you would probably want at this point. 
But anyway, there you go. We were able to achieve a victory there and now hopefully be able to take all of them prisoner. And I, I am going to be executing all of them. Oh, yes. Oh. Did, 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 the, what? Death Art managed to escape? Did he really? Ah. Uh, hmm. That's, that's not particularly good. Oh, I should have taken all those units as well. My bad. My bad. I should have taken all of those units. Oh, well. Can I, can I cancel this and go back, actually? Uh, yeah, I don't really want any of this. But uh, let me actually just see what happens when I press cancel. It's the same as when I press done. Okay, that's a bit weird. Anyway, there is there, there he is. There he is right there. Our mortal nemesis. And I will be saving. Because what I want to do is I want to execute these people before they manage to escape, of course. There we go. Yes. Okay, and we will now be just recruiting a bunch of these, and this is exactly the reason why I should have taken all of those prisoners. I know, I know, I made a mistake. My bad. My bad. But it's okay, because we are still able to take on Death Art and hopefully be able to, um, to murder him. I mean, I'm not going to put it lightly at this point. We are going to literally murder him. We will try our best at the very least. So let's see where he is. There he is. Okay, so uh, he's actually running after some looters. He has his priorities very, very messed up for some reason. Okay, so I am walking at 3.0. He's walking at 4.0. No, 3.3. Okay, we might be able to catch him. Or not, as the case may be. Why is he so fast? We're moving at 4.8. Why is he so fast? Does he have so many cavalry? Okay, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? You're not going to escape us, Death Art. You're not going to escape. I will manage the prisoners. And I will put everyone in here. Apart from this guy. And we will put every single person in here. Apart from some of these. And... Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep a couple of those, just so that we are actually continuing to increase our speed and uh, our speed of uh, re-recruiting, that is. And now hopefully I will be able to catch him. Okay, he's moving at what speed? Much faster than I am, by the looks of things. Is he really going to escape? He's traveling at 6.0. He's 0.3 faster than I am. I actually wonder where he's going right now. Ooh, this grinds my gears, you can tell. Oh, yes. Is he is he literally going to go into the... He's got mm, 13 recruits. All right, I'm going to wait outside. There he is. Now he's slower. Now he is slower than me. Yes, you will be murdered. You will be murdered, sir. I have become Captain Ahab hunting his whale, by the looks of things. <laughs> Completely without meaning to, of course, but Durthart has pushed me to this. He absolutely has. I heard you may need some help with a problem. Yes, let's not do that. Uh, we are going to be attacking him. And this is for all of those times, Durthart, where I said to you, Hey, uh, would you mind giving me, uh, you know, would you mind giving me a thief? And uh, he's like, no, no, I, I need these 20. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, we're back to a pretty small army now, and he's he's back to a pretty small army too. So this is going to go and hark back to the to the days when we were still a clan tier two, and we still had like a seventy four or something like that army capacity and everything. And uh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it's uh, nostalgia. Yes, uh, I I don't know whether you can really call it nostalgia from this point because it's only been like what. I don't know, 11 days since the game came out, so probably not, <laughs> probably not true nostalgia, but you know what I mean. It's uh, it's very much giving us that uh, that same kind of feeling. Ooh, seems like they want to charge in. Seems like they want to charge in right there. All right, let's let's charge them in. Why not? Let's do some damage to these cavalry right here. Nice. Yeah, that is what we like to see. And at this point, I don't really mind if we end up losing a huge amount of units. I literally just want to cause as much damage as possible, as much carnage as possible, and have the morale damage do the work. And for some reason, I ended up missing at that point. That's a Vlandian crossbowman. Did massive damage to me right there. Ooh, and I'm dead. <laughs> 
Uh, they did a good job. They did a good job. They took me out in two hits. That's actually kind of impressive, considering. And they're using blunt damage, which is actually kind of amusing as well, because if they'd used, uh, you know, piercing damage or something, I might very well be dead at this point. And speaking of that, I have actually heard that uh, in the next patch, and I'm talking about the big patch, this is the, the thing that's currently in beta at the moment, but the next big patch is maybe going to include the ability to play as your wife or to play as your husband, dependent on what kind of you know character you're playing as, of course, and uh, if, you're, if your main character dies and you don't have any children that can take over. So there is a bit of a, a fail-safe, I guess you could call it. But there you go. That is a very nice victory for us. We ended up losing only five units, and hopefully we'll be able to take him prisoner. Yes, and we have plundered 10,000 gold. He has so much money. Let's just say that. He has so much money literally just because I have given him all of these thieves and everything. All right. Uh, let me just get rid of a couple of these recruits, uh, a couple of these guys. Oh, really? Am I still over the prisoner limit? Ugh. Okay, fine. Some of these then. All right, so I'm going to take his grain and the olives. I'm just going to try and take as much stuff as possible from him. And now we will be saving because I'm a bit worried about a potential crash at this point. And, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I am very much looking forward to this. Ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Boom, and he is done. There you go. All right, so now I should probably look at the encyclopedia and take a look at Vlandia here. And you can see that Erdurand has actually taken over as the leader of the faction. And you can see that, uh, I believe, uh, wait a minute, we need to have a look at the clan. So these are the members of the clan. These, are, these guys are going to be pretty easy, in my opinion, to be able to uh, track down. And hopefully I will be able to eliminate each and every one of them. And then uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it for this episode. Next time we will begin more of our rebellion. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.